Hello everybody, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to a surprising video. I did not think I would be making a video like this in a while. What is this? <laughs> what is this? So Scott has released basically an update saying that security breach is going to be delayed until late 2021. If you remember, I think it was the end of 2020, uh, Scott said it's coming early 2021. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have it yet. It's 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 coming up. It's in May. We're basically in May now. Uh, two days until May, uh, and we don't have security breach. What's going on? <laughs> so essentially, what we're going to be doing uh, is we're going to be looking at this game, which he has released for us, so that we're not, you know, we're not lacking content, uh, and. Surprisingly, this looks really, really good. Like, this actually genuinely looks really good. Uh, it's called Security Breach Fury's Rage. Now, you're going to see a lot of YouTube videos on this, I assume. Um, this isn't going to be a gameplay video, and the reason it's not a gameplay video is because it's only for Windows, and unfortunately I cannot run Windows stuff on my MacBook, obviously. Um, but I'm going to have a look through some of the videos that are already up, um, such as the intro scene. Uh, and sort of what the gameplay is, I'm going to watch some gameplay, uh, kind of react to it uh, and see if there's any theorizable content, I don't know if there will be, um, but it looks very interesting. So here is here is the page, it's on Game Jolt, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go see it. Um, just to be clear, right off the bat, this game is called Fury's Rage, not Furry's Rage. So just get that straight, this is a game about unbridled anger and hostility, got it? Love that, Scott. Absolutely love that. That is so great. Uh, this was uploaded six hours ago for me. It will probably be about 12 hours when you see this or something. It won't take me six hours to make a video. Surely not. Um, but yeah, this is, it's, it's great. This is great. Um, so let's look at the screenshots. So here we have like a character selection. Uh, and I, I genuinely really like every single character here. Still, the two that stand out to me are Freddy and Chica. Maybe it's just because I'm more fond of Freddy and Chica rather than new characters that we don't know anything about yet. But Freddy's design looks so cool. He looks like a skate, not a skater boy, a um, like a motor boy, a motorcyclist. He looks like a motorcyclist, a roadman. No, not roadman. Whatever. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Chica looks so edgy, and I. And I love it. Actually, Chica is a, is a very cool design here. Roxanne looks like he wants to kill my family. <laughs> and so does Monty. Um, I really love Monty, actually, um, in the way that he he looks like the strongest one. He looks really strong. Um, we saw him literally take down a gate uh, in, in the Security Reach trailer. Uh, and speaking of that, there is going to be a trailer tomorrow, I believe, uh, Thursday. Uh, it could be today, actually. I, this might be uploaded Thursday. I don't know when it's going to be uploaded. Whatever. Um, here we've got move, jump, attack, block, special, enter button four, anim dude. Huh. Um, essentially, this game is like a fighting game, I assume. Uh, maybe like Super Smash Bros? Hmm? Um, Freddy has a little bit of power, uh, a lot of stamina. Not that much special, and he's not hes not that special. Uh, let's have a look at some of the next ones. Yeah, look at this. I just want to say, the artwork for this is so incredible. So amazing. Uh, I wonder if we will get content in this, because this does look like it takes place in the mall. Um, I don't know who that is. Who's that on the left? I don't... No, it looks like we've got a little anim dude thing down in the bottom left, um, where you press enter and then I, I'm guessing he'll come out or something. Um, you got a score in the bottom right, and the best part about all this is Clown Springtrap is here. Why? Why? Why of all the why of all the spring traps is Clown Springtrap here? It, this is a merge of the Security Breach animatronics and the FNAF AR animatronics, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, we've got. <laughs> We got like a buff Chica here. Uh, is that a Freddy or is that a beaver? It kind of looks like a bit of both. Um, we got outside. Um, 
I don't know if this is in the mall or whatever, but this is very nice. I like the cupcake on the belt there. That's very cool. There's an arcade here. There's games placed there. Security. Security service? Security, um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> lol in the back. <laughs> There's just lol in the back. Lolbit. Lolbit is here. And this is a one-way road as well. Oh, I didn't even see, I didn't even see Anim dude there. Oh my god, he's such a beast. Look how big he is. <laughs> he's so big. Here we go. It looks like, are we going to be able to play as Clown Springtrap or are they just the monsters? They might be the monsters. It looks like we got a clown from, um, from the, from the, not the security breach, from sister location, from the, no, no, from Pizzeria Simulator. I need to get my FNAF knowledge back in my head. Um, from Pizzeria Simulator, it looks like we got one of those clowns that were on the posters that were very spooky. Uh, looks like we got a clown tent in the background and a circus here. Um, looks like Roxanne can fly. <laughs> um, we've got XOX and Love Hearts and uh, your something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about the things in the back there. I don't know what they are. But yeah, that that's that's all the screenshots. Let's have a look at what this game really looks like and let's have a closer look at the game itself. Okay, here we have um, a video from Scott World, who I actually watch a lot of because it's very good with summaries of uh, recent FNAF news. And here we have FNAF Security Breach, Furies Rage, official full gameplay and cutscenes. It's a 14 minute video, we're not going to go through all of it of course, but we're going to look at it. We're going to have a little look. Right off the bat, this looks very much like the comic books, like the um, the um, graphic, um, what is it called? The graphic edition of the Silver Eyes and Twisted Ones, you know? Um, it looks a bit like that, and that's very cool. Is this animated? It better be animated. It's animated. Oh my god. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna the kill me. Base, when they find out that I have to delay the game again. It's Scott. It's Scott. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me. They're gonna kill me because they know that the, the, the game is delayed again. Oh, kill look at me. this. They're gonna burn my house down. They're gonna... They're gonna... They're gonna tar and feather me. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I know. I'll make a game for them. Uh, a game where I can help them. A game where I fight with them. That's it. Yeevee. Yes, Scott. Scott, you are a legend! Oh my god, you can tell that Scott really does things for the community, because look at that. No other game, indie game creator would take a meme about themselves from offline and put it in their own game, in a troll game and stuff like that. This is amazing, this is so good, this is Scott's perspective of uh, if, if I say that the game is delayed then people are going to hate me, you know? Is that his actual voice as well? Um, I think it might be. Uh, there we go. I really love this title thingy. That's very cool. Oh, press H for hard mode. Huh, interesting. There's a hard mode. Here we have Freddy. The right choice. The right choice. What is going on with this game? Let's see if they're ready for Freddy. Oh my god. Are those radioactive foxies? <laughs> this is so good! This is actually amazing. I, I, first of all, I love the colour and stuff. It's, it's so nice, but this is so amazing. It's Me is down there. Uh, sorry, we are open. <laughs> oh, I love, I love Scott's troll games. They're so good. Sorry, we are open. Oh, that's brilliant. That's so good. So the, the, the chicken. So it looks like it's it's kind of like a fighting game, but you have to progress forward and collect Anandu, and then you can summon Anandu. So, in a way, this is a bit like Freddy in Space. In a way, kind of. It's like Freddy in Space Security Breach version. Is there anything interesting over here? 
Look at that. Are those Funtime Foxies or Mangles? God, the, the, the Gacha Life community. The Gacha Life community is going to go crazy. Um, see, level complete. It, com it completes when you finish the level, obviously. Well, that was obvious. Maybe Roxanne? She's got more luck. Weird. So there's going to be a new level. Yeah! Oh my god! That's amazing. Why did... Why did... Why did... Why did Scott make Roxanne thick? <laughs> why did Scott make Roxanne thick? Oh! <laughs> Eat your vegetables. <laughs> the cake is a lie! Oh my god, there's a portal reference in here? Why is there a portal reference? You can tell that Scott it just gets bored of making Security Breach and he goes, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna take a rest from Security Breach and I'm gonna make a Security Breach um, rip-off game. This is so good. This is amazing. I really love what he's going for here. I really like the clown spring trap design, that's so cool. Just don't make a rug on me. Did she die? She died! Oh. Chicken's gonna bake you. Why is Chica all so thick? Oh for goodness sake. Look at her though. Oh my god, she has like a... She has like a... Are those babies? This is so weird. It's giving me so many FNAF vibes. But it... <laughs> it's like... It's so weird. Also, in the background, lollies, Lally's lollies. Lally's lollies is in the background, the advertisement. Very cool. Uh, maybe we can place this in a timeline. <laughs> I'm joking. Is this the entire game? <laughs> Look at the buff Chica. It's so funny. It's so great. I, I actually love it. What else is there? Is there anything else to see? Oh, there's another level here. Oh, Monty. Oh, Scrap Trap is there. Bonnie was Bonnie was here. Uh, FNAF is not dead. <laughs> oh my god, that's so amazing. This is um, this is so good. Puppets. Oh my god. This, this game looks like mayhem. And you collect fast tokens and jewellery and stuff. <laughs> oh, Monty is just brute forcing his way through it all. Oh, this is so good. That's, that's so amazing. Scott, you are a legend. Also, was that an egg baby? That's an egg baby, isn't it? Or it could just be Balloon Boy. It looks more like an egg baby. Oh, Mega Brow! Oh, they have boss names up here. Cool. Okay. Okay. This level is cool. The music is cool for this one. Why are they here? Why is Freddy Frostbear here? In Hulk, like... Not even Hulk shorts, just Hulk trousers. Pants. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, it's Black Eyes Freddy Fosbear, isn't it? Does does the original Freddy Fosbear have a spike? I think it does. I think it does. Man, this is so cool. Yeah, that that's basically it. Um, are, there, are they? Wait, this is like the factory area. Also, wait, Vanny. Did I did I miss it? You you have to fight Vanny. I was wondering where Vanny was. I was wondering where Vanny was. You have to fight Vanny in this game. <laughs> I think this just proves who is the bad guy in this really. <laughs> Vanny and Freddy Frostbear. <laughs> and Clown Spring Trap, of course. This is so this is so great. Is this like the place where the FNAF AR characters uh, or skins were made? 
maybe, because you can see all the torsos and stuff here. Uh, or it could just be for security breach. Or this game means nothing at all, because you know, it's... The day was won and the menace was defeated. But what was the ultimate goal of the battle? Our heroes worry that it was all a distraction. Despite the dark days and uncertain times, they remained hopeful that only good things were on the horizon to be continued. There has to be a secret here. There has to be. Something, anything. I don't see anything, not really. Um, yeah, I'm assuming that's it. That's, that's amazing. First of all, let me just say, well done, Scott. That that's a beautiful game. Um, as as I say, I'm not going to be um, playing it, but it's that was very cool to see. And um, I'm going to have a look at one more thing because I did see something when I was looking this up. Um, I did see that there was something else. So um, if you guys, if if I've missed any secrets on a thing, make sure you tell me in the comments because. I would love to hear all the little Easter eggs and stuff in this. Anyway, let's get to the good part. Okay, so here we are going to watch Dorco's video. Um, and this, this has got huge spoilers in it apparently, because it's in massive brackets in capital letters. FNAF Fury's Rage Secret Boss proves that FNAF 4 Theory six years later. This sounds very interesting, and I hope it's not clickbait, Dorco. Otherwise, I, yeah, I will hate you forever. Uh, it seems like this is like a secret level, and I think it's by completing hard mode that you get here, um, which is very interesting. Um, and let's see what the boss is like. I have no idea who that is. I can't see who it is. Because Scott's off the... Scott, she's supposed to be helping me here! Dorco's having trouble. What is that? It's like a snake with somebody I didn't brain. see it. What is... What is that? In it, in its, in its head, there's like a... It's a toy chica. It's a toy chica. Because it doesn't have the beak. It's a toy chica. And there's a clock. Is this dream theory? Is this dream theory as... <laughs> oh no. This is definitely Scott giving us a boss that is just dream theory. It is it's it is the dream theory. We are defeating dream theory, essentially. Or Scott is defeating dream theory. So what is... Okay, I'm, I mean, I'm sure Dorco has an explanation for it or something because there's like 10 minutes left in the video, but there's a toy cheek... Oh, five minutes. I, I can't do math. Um, six minutes actually. <laughs> Shut up! Basically, there's there's a I don't even know if you can see this, but there's there's a toy chica in the head, and there's a clock. And I think is that the box? I don't know. Oh, that's what that is. That these are all keyholes. These are keyholes. So it's the we're fighting we're fighting the box. I don't know. I don't know. Wait, what? I love how Dorco got the lock straight away. I just, I didn't. Went straight over my head. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Toy Chica in his head. It's definitely Toy Chica. Huh. There's no way that things in this game can be theorizable, right? Like there's no there's no way this is actually gonna prove theory. I don't know. I like Scott knew that the puppet was the hardest freaking enemy. Oh my look guys, there's a box, there's balls. There's a clock. Yeah, there's balls. Guys, that's yeah. a FNAF ball box. So are we now finding out what's in the box? Is that what he means by this FNAF 4 theory um six years later? Because I'd that doesn't make sense, does it? Is Dream Theory in the box? How that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> what do you mean Dream Theory is in the box? Let's look. What does it say on his head? It's I say something. It's I say something. I'm scared. I'm, I feel like I'm gonna get killed by the puppet. Loads of food down here though. I'm running low. I'm running low on Scott. Uh, on Scots. 
Look at it. Oh my god. Does its eye say something? I don't think it does. No. Oh my god, those puppets do look hard to beat. Yeah, it's it's the same ending. Oh. Oh. Wait. Wait. Well Please done, don't guys. be something big. Oh no. Oh my god, that's so wholesome. <laughs> that's so wholesome. That's so like, oh. I, I do feel for Scott because there are haters out there and he doesn't deserve haters. Because Security Breach is a massive game, we all know this, and it's only going to be better the longer it takes to come out. If Scott spends 10 years on it, I'll still be happy and still play it. Um, I mean, I know 10 years is a little bit long, but... You know what I mean? Like, we know it's going to be an amazing game if it takes 10 years to produce. Uh, and hopefully it'll win loads of Game of the Year awards and things like that. Um, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I've got my fingers crossed for Scott. Uh, I'm assuming that's it, but what is, wait, that's not it. Oh no, he's, he's oh, analysing it. That was fun, I've got two stars Let's now. have a look. Is that it? Is Let's there have a, a look. secret third star? Is there a secret ending somewhere? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see if there could be a secret ends. ending. Now, guys, put your theory hats on. We need to talk about that. We need to talk about that snake. Oh my god, I can't. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So, before, like, I haven't. I don't know what um, what Dorco's gonna say about this. I'm not gonna watch it. But what do we have here? Well, we have a microphone. We have a microphone. We have uh, a, a Toy Chica, that is definitely a Toy Chica, that's clearly a Toy Chica. Um, we have these balls from Ball Pits. Um, we have the time. Uh, we have a key. I think that's supposed to be the box. And then we have these two things behind. What are they supposed to be? I don't know what they're supposed to be. Either way, we've got all of these things that correspond to dream theory, right? And there's even um, like keyholes and things like that uh, on his body. It's clearly, yeah, it's clearly something to do with Dream Theory and the box and FNAF 4. Because to be honest, FNAF 4 is the thing that we need to clear up the most, I think. Because FNAF 4 could be a nightmare, but it also could be real. But it also could just all be some kind of fantasy or something. Not fantasy, but you know what I mean. Um... So we, we don't know much about FNAF 4 in terms of um, the timeline and stuff. Um, and so it would it would help to learn a little bit more about it. But I feel like this is just a troll, obviously. Uh, I don't know if it does confirm any theories or not. But we also have uh, 6am here. Uh, just saying. Just want to point that out too. Um, That is a really, sp like, that's a creepy design. That is such a creepy design. I don't know what it represents, though. I don't think, I don't know if it represents anything. Um, also, ah, an IV drip. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. I don't know. I, I really, I don't know. Um... I don't know if anybody does know what this truly is supposed to represent, but um, there was nice trying. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I'm going to end it here. Um, if you did enjoy this video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe for more. Um, if you do want to see me play it, I do have a way to, but it might take a little bit of time to set up and stuff, so it's probably not worth it. Anyway, um, but thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Good. Bye.